And this was something really over the weekend uh, it started to look like perhaps we would see some kind of impact really as of yesterday and certainly the models today. It doesn't look like we're going to see anything if invest 91 is able to organize, which is still very much a question as the percent chance of it in the next five days is only at 30 percent. The percent chance of this has kind of maintained that very low sta uh, status only because the models have been going kind of back and forth as to whether or not it would organize. And right now they have been a little more consistent in saying it's not going to organize. The Gulf of Mexico is not the environment it was a week and a half ago with Ida. This is a far more hostile environment. You see dry air and strong wind shear over what broad circulation there may be associated with this system at the moment. There's actually a more robust area of convection uh, north of the Yucatan, not really associated, but this is kind of an overall broad structured system, which again is not an organized feature by any means. And the models are indicating it's probably not going to organize in the Gulf of Mexico. And some of the models just kind of have it disappear where it is or maybe trying to drift northward but not doing anything. The one model that does at least indicate that there may be something worth tracking has it moving near the Big Bend area of uh, Florida and then moving out into the Atlantic Ocean where maybe it develops there and even that chance is fairly low. We did have a flash flood watch in effect and had one flash flood warning that was on the West Bank. Thankfully didn't amount to much of anything, had some heavy soaking rains and the little boundaries kind of formed with the scattered showers kind of redeveloping late this evening. We'll likely have a bit more rain during the night tonight or at least through the later evening hours, but nothing like what we saw earlier in the afternoon. Notice most of our clouds dissipating in some spots beginning to already see some clearing skies. Temperatures are right now in the 80s after the rain clouds moved out. Temperatures have started to rebound a bit and we're right back into the low mid 80s, although the clouds and rainfall did help to keep our temperatures in check a bit. Dew points are in the 70s, but that is going to change as a cold front looks like it's going to move through on Thursday with dew points dropping into the 50s and 60s, which means temperatures will be able to get into the 60s, both north and south shore by maybe Friday, but certainly by Saturday morning. So we will get a slight taste of fall weather by the end of the week.